I'm going to show you guys how to differentiate the inverse hyperbolic secant x. And first, we have to know that this is the same as ln parentheses 1 plus square root of 1 minus x squared, and then over x, right? However, before we differentiate this, we can use one of the ln property, because we know this is the same as ln of the top, and then minus another ln of the bottom, because ln of a quotient is a difference of two lns. And now we can focus on this right here and differentiate the first term and then the second term, right? So let's go ahead and do our calculus now. First, the derivative of ln of something is just going to be 1 over the inside, which is 1 plus square root of 1 minus x squared. And the chain rule says we have to look at the inside, right, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. So now let's see. The derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of square root of something is going to be 1 over 2 square root, and the inside states for now. So we have 1 minus x squared, and we have to do the chain rule one more time, right? Because inside of this square root, the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of negative x squared is negative 2x, like this. And now, this is the first part, right here. And we minus the derivative of ln of x is just 1 over x. And this is what we have at the moment. And of course, this is actually something that we can simplify it, and we'll go ahead and do so. We see that the 2 and 2 cancel, so for the first term here, we will have 1 times negative x on the top, so let me write it as negative x, and then this is over this times that, right? And be sure that, you see this is the first term. Technically, here we have an invisible parenthesis, and now let me make that visible for you guys. So we have this as the first denominator, and then this is also the second denominator. They're both together right here. They're multiplying though, and let me just write it down. We have 1 plus square root of 1 minus x squared times the other one, which is the square root of 1 minus x squared, like this. And then as of the second term right here, we just have the minus 1 over x, right? And you see, we're trying to subtract two rational expressions, right? Uh, two algebraic fractions, because this is technically not rational, because we have the square root in the denominator. Anyways, we have to get our common denominator, right? Um, you see, this right here, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by this x. So let's do that first, and let me just put it in the front. Let's multiply the top and bottom by x, like this. And as of the second term, let's multiply the top and bottom by these two, right? So let's do so right here. So we will have 1 plus square root of 1 minus x squared times the other one, square root of 1 minus x squared. And then we do the same on the top, which is 1 plus square root of 1 minus x squared times square root of 1 minus x squared, like that. All in all, you see, the denominators are the same now, and we can just try to combine the terms on the top, right? So we'll do so right here. And let me just uh, put this down like this. Okay, so the denominators are the same, so let me just write it down right here. We have x times the parentheses, 1 plus square root of 1 minus x squared times the other square root, right? Square root of 1 minus x squared, like that. And then, the first term right here, we will have negative x squared. And as of this once, let me just do it right here for you guys, because I see that 1 times this is just that, no problem. And I have to take this and distribute, right? So I'm going to do this times that, which is square root of 1 minus x squared. And then this times that, the two square roots are the same. So we just have the inside, right? So when you do this times that, we add 1 and then minus x squared. That's all we have. This blue thing right here, it's being subtracted right here. So be sure you put this in the parentheses, and now I'm going to distribute the negative here. So we will have, uh, let me just put this down, negative of this, so let me write it down, negative of that, square root of 1 minus x squared, and then negative 1, right? So let me just minus 1. And then negative, negative becomes plus, so we have a plus x squared. 
not what we have. And what can we do? We see that negative x squared plus x squared, they cancel out, isn't it? And this term, that term, they are both negative, so let me factor out negative. And allow me to put on the 1 first, if you would like. 1, and then we add, because now I factor out the negative, become becomes plus. The square root, 1 minus x squared, like that. And as you can see, this now is exactly the same as this one, so we can cancel them out. At the end, on the top, be sure you still have this negative. We have a negative 1 over. On the bottom, we have this x in the front, so we have the x. And then we have this, square root of 1 minus x squared. And guess what? We are done. This is the simplest result that we can end up with. And this is the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic secant x. And that's it.